basically with uh, what they have already in the rules. Okay. Alrighty. Now, Maybe. let's see. Hey, Maverick. Uh... The Oval Cricket Ground. Okay. Hi. So I guess uh, we these get shuffled right here, and you each grab a starting point, including me. Okay. I know where I start now. <laughs> Soon I shall. Wait, you're like Mr. Hyde, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Jekyll, hey, Sonic Jekyll, Doctor. Hide, Jekyll, hide, hide, Jekyll. Um, <laughs> so, where's... What am I? I am... What color am I? I'm red. I shall be... Here. There we go. I can just put this away now, right? Yeah. Numbers have no order to them. Hey, Black Vale. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice uh, map. I like it. Uh, it starts n number one, top left, and, and kinda... it goes to the right. Yeah. Yep. Although I think I Mr. X always starts right. What's what's your number, Brian? Ninety-four. So... Yeah, I messed up mine. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, now I gotta look where third is. <laughs> <laughs> no. I actually almost did pull your thing out, just just not really like intending to cheat, just like, alright, let's get rid of all the cards, let's get rid of all the cards. <laughs> oh, right, that's... <laughs> I'm not supposed to know that one. Right, right, right. Um, Sonic Doctor, let me explain why I'm on the wall here. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go. <sighs> I mean, it makes, it's, it's topical, right? We're not there yet, but we're getting there, we're getting there. I, I approve. I approve. Spider Man is my favorite X Men. He is. Now, that's funny for two reasons the obvious and the fact that he actually was an X Men for a while. He was also part of the Fantastic Four, wasn't he? Yep. And I think he was part of one of the X spin offs. And please forgive me for not remembering which because there's like 80. And they're all just called X something X Factor, X Force, X Strike. Isn't that a little derivative? Uh, hang on, let me just ban Guido forever here. <laughs> uh, not really, Sonic Doctor. I mean, when Tabletop Simulator first first came out, it was just a uh, physics simulator with basically nothing. And then over time, people who are awesome supported it, and now we have stuff like this. All right. <clears throat> so Mr. X has moved. He has taken the taxi. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this taxi card and kill him with it. Oh, paper cut. Yes, I do, Sonic Doctor. Hi, Ambrose. Oh my god, you've been norted! Okay, so what do we do next? Uh, it goes in a clockwise direction, right? I guess it'd be me then. Yep. So, um, alright. Now, yellow... Yellow is free, or do I have to burn a taxi to move you in yellow? Like, like this? Uh, that's a taxi. So... How do I get more taxis? Because I have a finite number you of don't. these. You don't? Yeah, don't? Yep. What the hell is wrong with our government? <laughs> Alright, we need you to catch Mr. X, but we don't want to spend a lot of money, so... That's 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 about right. <laughs> <laughs> in the United States, it would be like uh... everything. And we would be charging it by... I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Um... <laughs> And for the record, when you spend a token, it goes to Mr. X. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> but I have to spend something. Like, I literally can't not. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no walk. Yeah. Which is dumb. That is dumb. That's. I, I was just thinking, I, I'm just going to scoot down here. Oh, wait, no, I have to take a taxi to go yeah. five feet that way. Well, you, I mean, just think about it. You're in a continuous high action chase sequence. That's why you're taking taxis and stuff everywhere. <laughs> I'm a, uh, drive down to this area. Get out. Oh, like, no one here. Go down the street one block. Yeah, yes. 
All right, all right, all right. So I'm thinking, like, we we don't have a great... We have no one in the southeast at all. Correct. So, in general... Can I draw? Yeah, I'm going to draw here really quick. So it kind of feels to me like we've got... Guido could just kind of cover up here-ish. Okay. And I hope I can erase that. I was trying to make it contiguous. Yep, okay, good. And then, like, Bregwin can get up... Whoops, that's wrong. <laughs> Bregwin can get that one line that I can't erase now. There we go. Can get, like, up here-ish. Okay. And then... Now... So, but then we have two choices for me. Over... God damn it, this friggin' line! <laughs> we could do over here, or over here. Nuclear launch. Yeah, I, I do like that idea, Ambrose. And Sonic Doctor, sorry. Sonic yeah. Doctor had the idea. I mean, honestly, I would buy a lot of board games again if they were on, for example, the Switch. <laughs> and some of them have apparently been ported to PC and to mobile. Some of them. And they did a legitimately good job of porting, you know, the AI. So you can play by yourself. And then there's crap ports. By the way, everyone noticed Guido's hat. Oh, yeah. It's very awesome. So the in reason that we don't have uh, as many uh, tokens mm -hmm. as we should, like infinite, is because right now is tea time. <laughs> it's and they long. are not processing any paperwork during tea time, you heathen. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so what do you two think? Do you think I should head to the southwestern area or the southeastern area? I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. Guido? I'll take this upper area right here, where I already am. But I, I need help. <laughs> oh, you need help canvassing an area. Okay. No, no, no. What I'm asking so, is... All right, go ahead, Guido. Not to metagame, but on turn three, Mr. X will show where he is. True. I don't think we should focus on moving long distances yet because if if you move into that um southeastern area and he's you know in the southwest yeah you just screwed yourself so, so this so this brings up my second question uh so you see my piece here right yeah now if i was to for example burn a taxi can i do this or does it have to be one to one i just checked the rules you have to stop at the next stop that's yeah. awful. Yeah. Okay. Um, in that case... Jesus, that is awful. Uh, give me a second to think about that. they charge for gas by the leader? Holy crap. <laughs> I think I will go ahead and burn a taxi to go one inch this way. Uh, so here's... Where are you? Third. Here you go. That's Jolly good. Turn. Thank you. So that's my turn. Sorry for taking so long to debate that. But that opens up everything for your next move. Yeah. So. Because if I'm not mistaken, I could do an underground to here. Yes. Okay, so that means uh, it's my turn. Yep. Okay. okay. Um, I'm kind of screwed. You could probably reach 67 in enough turns to for it to matter. Uh, if you wanted to. You can't get... Uh, you can also reach 29 if you wanted to, but that's not... Eh. Hmm. Hey, Sonic Doctor, I'm going to steal all your money when you get successful. Is that cool? I just want to know. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to make my way to 89. So first thing, I'm going to go to there. Ah, okay, yep. And then that makes it Brigwin's turn. Brigwin the Amazing. Because I'm in a nice hub right now. I can do, well, no. Yeah. Uh, You're close to some nice hubs. I move. 
Yes, great. I'm gonna move here to here. That's oh, true, son of Doctor. And then here you go. Yes. All right, Mr. X, make your turn, sir. All right. I spit on you. Why would you do this? Because I enjoy tea, and you do not. That's what he's guilty of. That's this way. This you way. Dirty coffee drinker. Yeah, he likes coffee. I like crumpets. How dare you? They're so villainous, but not that bad. I actually don't like crumpets either. All right. Hello, Hourglass. Welcome to the super I love tense. What's the name of this game? I don't remember. Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard. That's it. Welcome to Scotland Yard, where we are British and tea time. Mm, yes. Quiet, all right, quiet. Mr. X has moved using a taxi. Yes, Mr. X is American, the most horrible of all things. Okay, so that's me. They'll use upstart teenager. Yeah. Now, interestingly enough, I can't pass, can I? No. Damn. I can't. That's awful. I wish I'd thought about that last time. Well, whatever. I will go back the step I just went. Here you go. Have a taxi. That's right. He's not going to reveal himself until turn three. All right, so I'm going to take a taxi. I get the gameplay things, but I, I kind of wonder in lore what's happening so that we take a taxi and then Mr. X, who is somewhere else in the city, just suddenly gets money to do a taxi ride or whatever. Yep. He's being funded by the government. That's what it is. This is actually a training exercise. Your turn, Bregel. And you have to move, apparently. That sucks. Yeah, I know. So... Why would I want to do that? Eh, sorry. Well, it's one of those double cover deals. We've got the inside here. Yeah. I like this one better. Well, crap and a half. Agreed. I am going to go right back because... <laughs> it's exactly the same I thing I just did. Waste money and I am terrible. I mean, you are a policeman. Sorry. So Sorry. Taxi tickets. Wow. Sorry. <sighs> Alright, Guido. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, third. Oh, it's third. You right, must reveal so where you are. Move, and then I reveal where I am, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. So I'm Sorry. using a taxi ticket, and I will reveal where I am. God damn it! I knew it. Of course. <sighs> hey guys, what are you doing over there? Well, I guess it is my turn. Unfortunately, because I got pigeonholed into this, and I, partially because I'm an idiot. Here, have another taxi. Third. Thanks. Uh, we can only move one stop at a time, right? Yeah, but you, like, for example, you're on a green, so you could go to 77 in one move. Yeah. Or 74, or 93. Or one yellow. It's just... What you should do, Amber Eyes, is go into business and economics and finance and be the person who runs the company and makes millions while all your friends become programmers. That's what I did, by the way. Didn't make the millions, though. I'm dead serious, though. Like, every single one of my friends, with very few exceptions, went into programming in some manner or another in college and high school. So, what's your plan here, Lore? Well... Honestly, given the fact that you can come from the right, I was thinking about doing that. But I'm thinking you come from the right and I come from the left. But unfortunately, he is in hell, which also known as downtown London. Which means his most likely strategy is to careen for the river as fast as he can. Which means he's not going to go for the river. But we know he knows. We know that he's going for the river. So we know he's going back from the river instead of going for the river, which we know he knows that we know he knows. Mm -hmm. Think. 
Hi, Tara. Where you been? Okay, so, yep, okay, so you went to 77. Uh, so it's over to you, third. Where are you going next, third? No, no, that's gonna be ba uh, over to me. What? Bregwin's before you. Yeah, I already went. Uh, did you, did you, you not go, Guido? It's Lore, me, Bregwin, third. Oops. Nice. Oh, well, I went already. Well, anyways, so, okay. Guido. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to not vocalize my plan, but I think you know what I want here. I think it's pretty obvious. So I'm going to take a bus. Oh, and British of me. And my turn is done. Okay, so now it's third. The evil one. Stab, 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 stab. All right. Well, let's take that away. I'm taking a taxi. I knew it. Just got so many of these taxi tickets. See, funnily enough, I thought about. So, I guess I'll talk about this. <laughs> I mean, not everyone has the mind for it, Amber. And I don't mean that as an insult. I mean, not everyone's interested in it. I love finances and numbers and economics, but then again, I am a total geek. <sighs> so, anytime we bust down there, we give him the option to bust out. And that's the problem. So, we need to kill him. In this stupid face. <laughs> what? It's a well, valid strategy. Talk. All right, guys. <laughs> we gotta kill him. <laughs> We're just gonna have to bomb. I don't know what this part of London's called. What's this part of London called? Someone. The, the southeast London. We just we just gotta bomb southeast London. All of it. The Germans. They didn't know what they were doing. We've got nukes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Battle of Britain was very stupid on Germany's part. I'm sorry. Those guys should not have gone that way. Whose turn is it? It is mine. I'm still thinking. I'm sorry. Okay. I am thinking sure. while I'm kibitzing here. I think I'll go and... Do... I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to give this card to third. Yay. A red card? Yep. I'm giving third a red card, and I'm going down to 153. I'm done. Ah. So now it's Guido. No, it's Bregwin. Oh, no. It is no, me. it is you. God damn it. I am also using underground. I mean, we could bomb all of London if we have to. It's... Now it's Bregwin. It seems a little excessive, but I don't know. All right. All right, Bregwin, you need to cover the exits. There's a lot of them. There's like one, two. Five, six, seven, eight. There's nine exits, Bregwin. You got this. In the least moves possible. I need you to, like, separate yourself into nine parts. And like, sin, like your leg goes over there, and your arm goes over there. Who do you think I am? Taller me to seven? Your eyebrows go over here. Help me. That was a bad. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. So bad. Definitely not googling it right now. Yeah. I just, mm, one for each candle. Okay. Yeah. That. Yeah. I do know that now that I've looked it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bregman's terrible. No, um. Yes, I am. All right. One piece for each candle. <laughs> oh, hey, you just uploaded a uh, another Clone Wars video. I did. This is nine. If anybody else is looking it up, I don't think they are. Taxi was taken. <gasps> I knew it. He's secretly evil. Oh, wait, that was Bregwin. You just did Secretly? What? <laughs> I, if you notice, by the way, that once again, third over here is the traitor. Yeah. Every I, time. I volunteered, just for the record. Every time. <laughs> we flipped for it. Yeah, I landed on my head. Was it that bad, Hourglass? Jeez. Why wasn't Blood Magic an Inquisition? Well, you see... I don't know. Who started this? <laughs> hey, can I get promoted real quick, third, please? Okay. Thank you. I'm doing it to flip the board! That's secretly my plan. No, I'm 
We, we need our turn indicator, apparently. Turns go so quickly. That, that... I've, I've noticed that games where the turns go quickly, it's a lot harder to keep track of whose turn it is. You notice that? Yeah. yeah. There we go. Okay, so... Delete, 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 delete. Okay, so... In Green Park. Oh, I mean, that'd be kind of cool. I saw it in the Houses of Parliament. Where's the... <laughs> <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Sorry, sorry. Um, okay, there you go. It is Bregman's turn, right? Mm, I just I went. Did you go, Laura? Uh, not since the red. All right, so it's your turn. So it's my turn. Okay, this is why we need the turn indicator. Okay, okay. All right. So in that case, given the fact that third is evil and horrifically evil at that, I'm gonna go ahead and burn another. Red. There you go. I have a red. I'm gonna mm -hmm. go up here. Boop. And then this goes to Guido. You're gonna burn a taxi? Yo, I just take it. Uh, it, it wasn't called Berserk, but yeah, it was something like that. And yeah, even Berserk just wasn't enjoyable for me. Dual Wield was the worst for me in Dragon Age Origins. Uh. Yes, this is what I use for hammering bands. Actually, that's not true. I can show you what I use for band hammering. Give me a second, because I got it on my stream. I have my band hammer right here. This is the band hammer. Yes, she does. But this is the band hammer. I'll just leave it on screen for a second there. All right, Bregwin, it is your turn. <laughs> that's cute. Alright. So See I have this I have the preparatory playlist, which is like doomy, villainous music. Should I switch to the go playlist for this? Like it's supposed to be this high speed chase, right? I remember that yeah. too, Sonic Cover. Um, yeah, let's do the go playlist. Green mind of nowhere. There you go. And Ooh. hang on. There it go. Alright. Nice stab. Alright, here we go. But yeah, that Kingdom Hearts lore run was just awful in terms of people. I mean, you guys were cool, but the people I had to ban were awful. That's I think that's the most I've ever had to ban anyone was during the uh, Kingdom Hearts lore run. Why would people be... I don't know. I don't know. Because people. That's... Because Kingdom Hearts is popular and someone has to poop on it. I mean, of all the games to cause issues with, I just... Yeah, there was this one person who kept talking about this Jap crap. I remember that one oh, distinctly. No, I, really? I have taken a taxi. Okay, so... I am going to... take a taxi. Go here. It is now Guido's turn. See, and I'll reveal myself in two turns. Yep. I just want to predict right now that his next or next next move will be an underground movement. I'm going to burn a taxi. Appropriate. <laughs> What's trouble about Kingdom Hearts? 128. You I mean, forgot the horde symbol, though. The what? The horde symbol. Snidely Whiplash, really? Yeah. Because yeah. now we're Snidely Whiplashes, we are so incredibly evil now. Uh, sorry, I, I did just move. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. Horde symbol. Nicely done. Mm. He is the Horde or the Alliance. Because the Alliance are the good guys. They are. It's canon. It currently <laughs> is. <laughs> oh, that hurts. It does hurt. Like, I've been saying that for jokingly for years now. And all of a sudden, I can't. Yeah. 
so. Don't find games until you can't. <laughs> yeah? Oh, God. That applies to a lot of things. Walking's all fun in games until you can't. Yeah. I can't do Muttley. So what are you thinking, Bregman? Good question. Oh, I'm sorry. What I is... am sorry. I am sorry. Oh. Oh, you did move? Oh. I didn't see it. I didn't either. Right. Smash. <laughs> That's true, the Horde are evil because they're red. Damn communists! <laughs> what, I played Command and Conquer Red Alert. I know how it works. Yeah. The Soviets sense. were the red, and the Alliance were the blue. Alright, so that's over to me. Hunter's Chance, Final Fantasy IX, Sonic Doctor. And yeah, go ahead, Hourglass, sorry. <sighs> Might I throw out a suggestion? Of course. If you move down to 157, pick a bus. Yeah, I see what you're thinking. Alright, I will go ahead and give Snidely Whiplash of the Horde a bus ticket. Mm. Over to... We do. Taking a taxi. Brigman. All right, Brigman. It's time for your brain genius. <laughs> I don't remember what I got that phrase from. It's from like a web comic, I think. Hang on. Brain genius. I don't know if I qualify as a brain genius. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I googled brain genius, and the very first response is something about Donald Trump, which I'm not going to repeat. <laughs> <laughs> very first stable response. Very stable genius, yeah. There we go. All right. Final Fantasy IX, Hourglass. All right, third. Move, and then where are you? This is it. This is it. This is it. I'm ready. I'm ready. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I knew it! He took a spaceship! Oh, I'd be so pissed. I would too. If he gets out of this, this net, he's basically one. Okay. So. Okay. And I will go Okay, yeah. so... Uh... Yeah. Well, actually, I don't need to do it. Okay. So I will you reveal to... before or after you move? After. Uh, after, yeah. Okay. okay. Admittedly, I, it would make more sense if he, he revealed before, but whatever. Let me see. So, there's only one thing to do. Yeah, he places his game piece on the location moved to. Mm. Who cares about who? I don't even know who that is, Tara. So, so you are actually on 159. Yes. Okay, that's where you're ending. That's. Okay. Yeah. So, for those of you at home not noticing, he is basically in a nexus hub of five points he can leave through now. Mm hmm. Because yeah. third isn't it, because third is a brain genius <laughs> of the stable variety. <laughs> He's also made it so none of us can reach him in one turn. Yeah. And no matter where we go, he has somewhere else to go. Based. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn a bus ticket. I'm gonna go here. Okay. And oh. I am done. It's Guido's turn. Hmm. Yeah, I've called. Yeah. I feel you.
So have you done a Warfront yet, Bregman? No, no. You should no. do a Warfront, Bregman. You should get to 110, 110 and then go do a Warfront. Um, yeah, I'm getting there on my Monk. I am 80. Oh, nice. You were 80 last I checked. Yeah. I just started right. doing quest after quest. <clears throat> yeah. That's pretty much what we do. That's okay. See you around, Hourglass. But yeah, Warfronts, I, I, I'm actually legitimately impressed. It's the first thing in BFA, gameplay-wise, that's been like, wow, this is really good for me, personally. So I'm taking a bus back to the uh, hub. Okay. I hate to go back and forth, but... Yeah. All right, Bregwin. Brain genius time. Now, you and Third are the only brain geniuses here. So you have to, like, out-genius his brain while he's out-braining your genius. Makes sense. Yeah, exactly, Maverick. I've actually done one, like, three times. Once to see it, once to test stuff, and once just for fun. Uh, the only downside of Warfronts... Well, okay, there's actually, like, 50th of downsides of Warfronts. But the three big downsides of Warfronts for me... Number one, seven days is way too long. That's crazy. For those of you not aware of what I'm, I mean by that, um, you have seven days to do Warfronts before anything ha else happens, which in my opinion is just way too long of a cycle time. Uh, problem number two is the fact that there's not really any gameplay benefit for redoing them. They're fun, but there's not really a lot of reason to keep doing them, you know? The third problem is the nature of how they have the system set up for switching, basically making the warp run active. I, I have so many problems with that, I'm just going to summarize them as one. Alright, third. All right. He's blowing an orange. Da -na -na -na. Two well, times shoot. taken. Okay. Well, that's over to me. Now, viewers at home, I want you to do me a favor, okay? I want you to decide if I should take a gamble or not. Viewers at home, what do you think? Now I gotta wait 30 seconds for the Switch lag to get through. Yeah. Uh, Sonic. Sonic says gamble. All right. Then I will burn a bus ticket. And I will go here. Wonk. Over to you, Guido. Okay. Um... Uh, no, Tara. I feel like I say this seven times a day, but I don't choose what I ruminate on. So, and every upcoming rumination that's already been done is already on the website. As in, you can see when it's happening and what's when it's going to be on all that stuff. I'm going to take a chance. This is it. This is it. We're going to lose him right here. Going to burn a bus token. He's gone! We lost him. He's gone. It's over. What should Dragon Age 4 be? I, I, there's so many jokes. Where do I go first? <laughs> <laughs> you probably mean sincerely. Honestly, I want a Dragon Age where there's not, like, an obvious premise which is immediately thrown out the window in favor of a less interesting story. Because that's happened in the last two games, in my opinion. I want to actually just have a good premise and focus on the premise and have it be awesome. And in this case, I think the premise should be the Kunari. Just We got really close in Inquisition. We did! Really close. We did, and then... Corypheus! Who? <laughs> yeah. I actually knew people whose reaction to hearing he was the villain was, who? Well, that it would have been interesting with Corypheus if he had actually killed the Inquisitor. That's crazy. You're crazy. And then Hawk comes back, and then Hawk gets left in wherever, and then all of a sudden, here's the warden. I'm, I'm just doing this for myself. Whoops, that's whatever. <laughs> wow. That'll do. 
That's not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Just don't delete the whole board. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, so he has moved three spaces from that spot. Via taxi. Mm -hmm. Which means... Possibilities include... Where he is, right now. Uh, here. Here. He here. could not have been here. Oh, you're right. You were you were squatting there, so he couldn't have yep. done that. You're right. You're right. So he can go through there. I was over here, so he couldn't go that way. But he could go. He could go this way. Well, no, he wouldn't no. have gone that way. So he could have gone this way. He could have gone straight north. Yeah. Yeah. So he could have gone one. Uh, he could have gotten as far as that. Uh, he could also be here. True. I, I thought you were on 185. Yeah, never mind, never mind. He couldn't have done that because I was busing down there, so never mind. He couldn't do that. So these are our options. He has either completely escaped the net or he's down by Guido and I. I like how he's got the the gripping to the each spot. That's actually kind of convenient for this. Mm -hmm. That is nice. Um, hold on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete those <laughs> and delete those. Sibri says hi. Hi, Sibri. Hello. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm gonna burn a bus. I'm gonna go up to 133. So, yeah, I don't think the Warden will be back. There's just too many honestly big issues with making that happen. Like, there's no way. The only way that could ever happen is in a small Gaiden game or as, like, a side quest which has nothing to do with the main story. Which is not what anyone wants, and therefore you shouldn't even bother. Yeah. Because they missed their opportunity with Inquisition at big time. Yep. Although, I will say that, in my opinion, they actually pretty much wrapped up a lot of the Dragon Age origin stuff in Inquisition pretty well. Or better or worse. Yeah. I mean, a lot of choices, a lot of choices mattered in Inquisition. I'll give them credit for that. Yeah. More so than Mass Effect. Yep. That is true. I mean, Inquisition had its issues, but that yeah. was not one of them. What, what do you think, Guido? I'm thinking either 161... Oh, I see it. Hmm, I see. Or 198. That is a tough one. Yeah. That's a hell of an oscillation. I, I feel if I move up to 161... I will have more. Yeah. I I feel I, I feel that he has moved more north than more south. But he knows that Probably. we know he knows. No. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. but well, no. In all honesty, I agree with you. We have to we have to pick. Yeah. We have to pick because we have to coordinate to catch him. That's mandatory. Yeah. So, let's go north. Here's a bus pass. I felt like they did a decent job with Hawk, too, in Inquisition, with one exception. For some reason, Hawk really seemed to care about uh, Kirkwall. That stupid place. I, I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't get that. It's stupid and dumb, and I'm very grateful for the... <laughs> that I just got. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Thank you uh, very, very much, No Star 2014. As ever, I much appreciate those Twitch Prime subs. Thank you. But yeah, I, I, I honestly feel like why would I ever, why would Hawk ever give a crap about Kirkwall? That has always irritated me. Yes. 
I'm like glad I wasn't the only one. Yeah, no, that's just. Yeah, my hawk would have sat on the nearest hill to watch that place burn while she downed the biggest bottle of the hardest booze there was. Well, mine wouldn't have been that bad, but... Well, mine was a sarcastic ass. Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> Alright, third, this is your chance. So first you gotta reveal where you are. Oh, no, we're on oh. 12. Never mind. My bad. Alright, I'm making my move. This is it. He's using a taxi. a taxi. Shoot, that's bad. That's awful. That's really bad. I have a feeling... That's I, Shoot, okay. So he's probably up in here somewhere, two moves away from both of you. We'll see, okay. If he moved south, we've lost him. Let's just confess to that. If he moved north and he's taking a taxi, he feels safe enough that he's enough out of reach. And cause, So, for example, if he moved here... Well, here, we're just, let's get those back. So if he moved here... He is functionally out of reach. Or he moved here. Uh, or that's about it. That's that's what's with his in range on the last one. Yeah. Now he could also be doubling back at this point, which is the problem. That's what Bregwin's there for. She's gonna go yeah. and stab his butt. <laughs> She's a rogue. She's used no. to it. What? You're a rogue. You're used to it. Are you saying no to a butt stabbing? Yeah. Oh, third. I have my like... butt stabber and my face smasher. So I like my butt intact. That's my rogue anyway. Which she's hopefully abandoning because rogues are. I keep telling her this over and over and over. Hey, dance yourself. Well, I know it's a fallacy, sunk cost and everything, but I've had that rogue since vanilla, so she kind of has a soft spot in my heart, you know? So, oh, did I move my... Yeah. Sorry, I'm still thinking. Okay, here's what, I'm, this is going to sound weird, but I'm going to go over here. I swear I have something in mind. Uh, I think I see. Yeah. There you go. Guido? Okay. Um, I, I kind of see what you say on that, Nostal. No, no style? God, I have no idea how to say that name. I'm sorry. Um, you know, seeing Kirkwall as Hawk's home, I totally get that, even though I don't understand it personally because I've never had that concept of home in my life. Um, but I still have to think that at a certain point, screw Kirkwall. <laughs> like, certainly by the end of Dragon Age 2, I would have imagined screw Kirkwall would have been in Hawk's mind. And then in Inquisition, Kirk, she's like, oh my god, or he, you know, whatever. Oh my god, Kirkwall, Kirkwall, Kirkwall. I've got to defend Kirkwall. We've got to take care of Kirkwall. Who cares? Let Sebastian have it. Just... He doesn't even take it. He just burns it. <laughs> What's the dwarf's name? Ogren. No, Varric. Oh, uh... Varric. Or Varric. I never remember. Yeah, Varric. All right. I, I would have given it to him. I'm with that. He's actually an excellent leader. Yeah. And he would have yep. continued to write books that he would have sent to Cassandra. <laughs> and she would have loved him. Yep. Yeah, it was his mother's home. She's dead? In a really horrible way, too. Yeah. Yeah, that was... And there was nothing you can do about it. Um, that actually upset me a little. Get to her, she's already telling me to seven. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. I'm going to take Underground. this here, and then I'm going to go here, just to... I'm not going to link this image. I'm sorry. There's a guy here who's laying down, and people are putting watermelons in his stomach, and he's slicing them in half, rapid fire. And he's got a protective glove and everything on. So he's being safe, but the, the caption is, Local man wishes to commit seppuku, but mischievous local melon salesmen are using his shame for profit. <laughs> okay. And just for last, it's kind of reason. I'm taking a taxi. Okay. Okay. Well. I'm going to go ahead and do what I was already thinking about doing. 
So here, have a have a bus pass. Um, and this is going to go way up here. Over to you, Guido. Wait a minute. You'll have to stop here. Oh, I didn't even see that one. You're right. You're right. Damn. I didn't see that yeah. last turn. Someone's trying to cut in the bus. <clears throat> Sorry. Hmm. Whichever one's better, Sonic Doctor. Take a taxi. You know what? I don't like this music. Let's try... What's a better playlist for this? Oh, I have a town playlist. Perfect. Let's pull up some Sims Sims 3 music. That would be appropriate. <laughs> dun, dun, right. dun, 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 dun. That's not Sims 3, is it? No, but it's close. It's, it's close enough. It's cool. Okay. All right. Wait, so what did Brigham go to? Reveal turn. I moved here. Okay. So this is when we find out how far out of our net he's gotten. Yep. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. It's, it's not as bad as you think. Yeah, it is. It's Insurance? awful. It's awful. If you say so. Well, it's tough to decide where I want to move, though. No. <laughs> I hear you should go to that red or green circle. I think those are awesome. I'm so sorry, Ambrose. I recommend Sims 3. Cool. I know it'll never happen, but if Sims 3 and all the DLC came out in the Switch, I'd buy it. Game of the Year edition? Yeah, pretty much. With a, Sold. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't. But they would never do that. No. Because they love to the nickel and dime you to death. Well, no, they would never come out with Sims 3 on the Switch. It would be Sims 4, which I don't personally no. care for. It's the same reason why Civ 5 didn't come out on the Switch. Or isn't, I suppose I should say. Basically, Sims 4 is Sims 3 with a character creation patch. Well, they did polish and add to it quite a bit. I'll, I will give them credit on that. Yeah. But the one thing I hate, the one thing I hate now, is the fact that you cannot custom make neighborhoods in Sims 4. Yeah, I really like the neighborhood aspect of 3. It's one of my favorite parts of it. <sighs> Third is really thinking about this. Mm -hmm. yeah. I say we stab him. All in favor? I'm on board. All opposed? Nay, oh. not opposed. Never, ever stab. All right. I have decided. Stabbed. He's decided to be stabbed. Hang on. The... Oh, he's double moving. Here it is. Stab, stab, right. stab, so, stab. I was also reading the rules in this. So um, He was reading the rules. That's always a bad sign. On a reveal, you know where my first location is, but you don't want to leave my second. Oh, place. that's messed. Okay. <laughs> Although you're going to guess it pretty quickly. So, we guess two taxis. The first location is here. Uh oh. Taxi and a bus. A taxi and a black card. I don't remember what black cards are. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. He's uh, taking the river. Yep. Oh, shoot. Well, he's gone. We lost him. Um, so that means he would either be landing on 115 or 194. So there's only one option. Yep. Or is there? Go for T. Or one. No, wait. No, for the sake of. Uh, this is stupid. I'm just going to say that out loud. This is stupid. But I'm going to go ahead and go to 115. Oh, you got me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't think I did, but it would be actually stupid not to cover that possibility. It's true. Got it. I'm just going to move this here for no reason. <laughs> I could have jumped a ship you know, like halfway through. You know? uh, that's right, right here. To be legal, there. <laughs> Is that better? 
Yeah. Alright, Brig, when all our hopes are on you, except it's Guido's turn. Jesus, Guido. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, but... How many underground cards do you have, Guido? Three. Three. Jeez. What, you mean this case right here? Oh, you mean the PS4. Never mind. That does look kind of cool. Well, I really only have one option, and that's to get up to 89. I was actually so, thinking the same thing, yeah. Um, I will bust up first... So, 105. Hmm. Alright, over to you, Bregman. Make it even bigger. Let's make this really obvious. It is Bregman's turn. Not bad. Do I have theories about the Black City? Of course! So my first theory is the Black City is secretly Candyland. And it's one giant cavity now? Mm-hmm. It's King Candy's dungeon. Yep. It was all awesome. I don't have any theories about the Black City anymore, to be 100% honest. Not after Trespasser. That threw and a lot Spartan, of it. Uh, this is Scotland Yard. We are detectives chasing Mr. X. Uh, That's who him. He's currently third. He's evil. He's always evil. He's always plays the evil one. He's still got about half the game left, though. So. No, he's one. He's one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could miss stuff. Right, but it's your turn. I know it's my turn. I am just making sure. Trying to do this in as few moves as possible. Yeah. And everything is structured in a way to where that ain't gonna happen. So. Yep. We're screwed. We have lost him, I guarantee it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take a bus. Whoa, what the hell? There we go. That's what I, I somehow yeah. reached in my hand to pull out the hammer. <laughs> Why did you have a hammer in your hand? I don't. Mm -hmm. Probably because it was close to the hand up there. Yeah. It's, it's hammer space. Okay. So he's taking a taxi, which means he is either here, here, or here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Taxi. Over to you, Guido. No, no, Spartan litter. Um, that's childish, not evil. <laughs> no, third is like in board games. There's usually a traitor, right? Or someone who has to be the opponent. In this case, he is literally our opponent. Mm -hmm. And as a consequence, he is the evil guy. Here, we even got a we even got a thing here, right? See? Yeah. This is him. Mm. Wait, actually, if we're gonna do horror, there's more appropriate one. Uh oh. Oh god dang it, why do I I keep reaching into my hand and pulling out that hammer? There we go. There, and then I'm moving. Um, yeah. Got 180. Yeah. Alright. Alright, third. Time to progress evil. Also, right. it's your turn. Alright. Ah, what's loading? Nothing. Sorry, sorry, I'm trying to All right, produce I'm him. Busting up. Uh oh, he bust. Now. Uh none of those are buses. Um That's not possible. Yeah. Alright, third. Calling out and cheating. You're cheat! 
Maybe I'm cheating. I'm not cheating. Can you take a taxi or do you take a bus? Oh, I, I, I said tax. I, I said, I said bus. I meant tax. I even okay. Tax. That makes. A, I was gonna say, you literally can't do that unless you're actually cheating, or I'm an idiot. It is taxi. Sorry. Okay. okay so that means. I was thinking about something else. So we've got as options now. Every location on the map. <laughs> There's our options. That doesn't actually matter for me for a bit. Because I'm still trying to make up for being on the wrong side of the universe. I'm done. It's okay, guys. I have a secret plan. Viewers, don't tell them that I've, I've got this ready to go. In case all else fails. There we go. Rap. Oh my god, really? <laughs> yes. Also, how did you get that in as like a cutout? It's a transparent PNG. Cool. I like it. He's over here. <laughs> I knew it! A map of Paris? I know some British people who would be a little upset if you said that. <laughs> Well, that changes my plan. Secretly, it is Paris. Oh, like, yeah. I love it. Um, so I'm going to have to move to 128 because we can't both occupy the same space, Lore. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Can I undo my last two turns? No, don't worry about it. Because <laughs> the only reason I went this way is because I didn't know that. I assumed we could just zip on down. Let's spread out. Alright, now I need to figure out how to do this. Bless you, maybe. Uh oh, now I have to sneeze. No! So, how do you do this third? How do you make it happen? Make what happen? And, and PNG. Um, well, I just found found this one, but you know, normally you just remove the things you want, save this. All right, all right. I have a PNG I want in the game. Okay. How do I make that happen? Oh. Um, objects, components, custom, tile. And then put the URL in there. Oh, it has to be URL? Damn. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, it's my turn. Uh, You seem to be hoarding your bus tokens, so. Uh, why did that just fall through the map? I don't know. It should reappear in just it, a second. It didn't! <laughs> what the hell? It's just gone. <laughs> okay, let's try this then. Okay, here we go. Well, that worked. Alright, I'm gonna do. I, dang it, dang it. <laughs> you don't understand, it's important that you have the hammer. There you go. Alright. Ah. 190. Dang it. But yes, this is London. Part of London. Alright, taking a taxi. How do I. Whoop, whoop, sorry, sorry. Uh, disaster strikes London. <laughs> Have board games gone too far? Yes. Okay, so... Um, the board game squishes city underscores need for foundations. It's true. Because most of London doesn't have foundations. <laughs> Alright, so here's my underground. Going here. Over to Guido. All right, so third, help me out. I'm a moron. All right, do you have a URL you want to do? No, but I haven't gotten to that step yet because I'm like, okay, here's, I'm at the custom tile thing, but I don't see a way to add a, an URL to anything. Um, I'm confused. Hold on. I guess quintuple chins just. So do you have do you have a dialog box come up when you hit one of the custom things? No. Hmm, that's weird. 
because normally it's, it does. Like my viewers can attest to this because I've been doing it on stream. <laughs> exactly, Spartan. Oh god. <laughs> uh, you know what? Just copy mine and then try right clicking in that and hitting custom. I don't have a custom. Really? Yeah, it's not even a menu option. Right, hold on a second. What? Maybe the only the host can do this. Yeah, I guess. Cause I, I guess mean, only the host can do it. After this map, I want to test that. Oh so god, it's back forget. to me again. Yep, you got this, Braywood. Oh, damn. Um, you got this. So we're still on Sims Three music. I love it. Where will he be? Oh, and I'm running out of cards. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna die soon. Mr. X will escape, and they'll be like, why didn't you catch them? And we're just gonna glare at our boss. Just glare at him. You were on tea break, and here we are needing bus passes, he's taxis, he's and ground. He's gone. We lost him. He's gone. Alright. My turn? Mm-hmm. Yes. Alright. For the horde. Alright. You horde scum. Taking a bus. A, oh no, he took a bus. Yeah. So. I will also take a bus. Well, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, we need to decide where we're going. Because we need to group up on him and we're running out of turns. So he yep. could but roughly he can go uh, over here, up here, or over here. Mm -hmm. What are you guys thinking of these three areas? Uh, pull out those dice again, would you? Uh, give me a second. There you go. Okay. So. Bus station. Ah, I see what you're doing. Bus station. What game would be a cross good crossover with WoW? Starcraft! Actually, I mean that with total sincerity. As of this point in time, I think Starcraft and Azeroth would cross over surprisingly well. <laughs> Azeroth is sufficiently magically advanced, and Starcraft is sufficiently technologically advanced that the two are more equal than they should be in power level. In terms of individuals, not in terms of, of the setting. An army, any army from StarCraft would, would crush Azeroth like a bug. Raynor would walk over, and he would be about at level. But then Raynor's raiders would walk over, and Azeroth would be destroyed. And they're just a bunch of outcasts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's just drop a nuke, we'll call it done. But seriously, though, I mean, tell me it, it wouldn't be awesome to have, be, like, Nightborn in power armor, right? They did that already. I, no, they only did it with Tarin. <laughs> Damn Tarin. Okay. <sighs> we will find this horrible person. Yeah, if only we had some kind of Legion Sonic Doctor that we could fight that could unite the Horde and Alliance. That would be great. Yeah. One of my friends made the comment that they feel like the Horde, uh, that some of the writers always, like, had basically had the mentality that the Horde and Alliance were always at war and have always been at war since vanilla, but because of the realities of game design, both factions had to always end up fighting the same enemy because the players always had to fight the same enemy. Ergo, even though some of the writers think the Horde and Alliance have always been at war, in the game they haven't because we're always fighting the same stuff. And that was actually, that actually made a lot of sense to me. And if it's true, then I'm going to go stab those people in the face. <laughs> yeah, I just saw the, the uh, Cataclysm opening cinematic again on my monk. And I'm like, you know what? This should have been in the opening to BFA. Yeah, I'm with that. 
I'm with that. Because put down your differences and frickin' heal Azeroth. Nah. <sighs> That's so what the book was leading up to, anyway. It is. You're right. Kinda, sorta, in the 40-some-odd pages that mattered. Now, if I'm looking at this correctly, Guido, all these reds are where he could have left from. Yes. So just if if I made here, that no, means... No, no, please. Yeah. That means... I feel that the most likely two options are either this one here or this one here. I agree completely. So most likely he's either here, here. And that's it. And that's it. Yeah. And we are in position to sweep on either, but only one. And we do need to come in. Oh. Now, I don't have any way of determining this, so you want to just flip a coin. Legit. West or east, you know? Get a whole Cold War thing going on. So I can get to one of those in one move. You do? You can. And you can test yeah. that theory, but... we st And I, th I still think you should. Yeah. But Guido and I both need to commit to a location. Because we're both kind of... Yeah. Now, granted, Guido's well positioned for that side. Well, not well positioned, but he's positioned for that side. Honestly, Terra, I've thought like I have thought more than once. Maybe that's the direction they should go in. Maybe they should just destroy Azeroth. We're going to know where he is next turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're just making frowny faces at each other. I love the way you put that, Spartan. Greg, but you should read his message if you haven't. It's amusing. But no, I agree. We've, we've kind of got a little bit of a Korean situation going on here. Yeah. We're technically at war all the time. See, the thing is, I know exactly where they were going with Sylvanas and exactly why they did it. And it's stupid. And it's, I'm not going to talk about it here because it's controversial. <laughs> but it's still stupid. I'm just going to link this into my chat. There you go. Enjoy that. It's still, still totally going to be true. Just saying. All right, here's what I'm thinking. All right, I'm, I'm ready. Bregman moves up to 163. Mm -hmm. Lore, you move up to 154. Okay. I move up to 157. Okay, I see where you're going with that. Next turn, he has to expose where he is. And that puts us in a good position to pounce on either side yeah it's about as covering it as we're gonna get i agree yep so we'll be on hubs so we can jump on any which way we need to go pretty close yeah yeah all right third stab is this your card Four. oh it is mine yeah yeah i swore it was yours okay no well, I move. Now it's yours. All right. So I will boss 157. All right. And I am going to bus 163. Is this your card, third? My card? Uh huh. All right. Taxi? Yeah, this is it. This is the moment of truth. He's going to be like up here. Oh, God. No. I'm just <laughs> How in the hell? No, I'm right here. I call shenanigans. <laughs> How did you manage that? I met some nice oh, okay. aliens. So you came out here and then you kind of did this. Oh, okay. All right. So it's back over to me. It's mm -hmm. time to kill third. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, as much as I would love to, I don't think I could go from 154 to 184. Because there's no. no actual green line connecting that. No, you're going to go to 156. Yeah. I... Yeah. Okay. Which... I... Okay, so here's the thing. I have one bus card left. So, if I had two, this would be great, because I could go 156, and then I could cover 184. But I can't. <laughs> uh, Bregman, you still have an underground, right? I have two underground. Ooh. Okay, okay. Ah, I see what you're saying. So okay, she moves 153. Mm -hmm. I move back to 185. Mm-hmm. And then I moved to 140. Mm. Um, well. Hold on. And I'll sink your battleship. Yes, and she'll sink my battleship. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> They're talking in code to each other. <laughs> All right, you move here, you move here, and I sink your battleship. <laughs> right. Okay. So, yeah, Laura, if you go to 156. I go to 185. Bregwin goes to 153. Then his only valid move is to 184. Only valid move is 184. From there, then we're going to be chasing him. Yeah. He's going to put these off to the side. We keep using them. So he's... I really wish I had two bus passes. Yeah. You know the best? Well, was... no, that won't work, actually. That would work. I was worrying about running out of taxis with the bus. Okay, so I see I see what Guido's thinking. If, if we do that triad, he can't bus out. Yeah. So, I, I agree with his reasoning. I'm going to go ahead and give him another bus pass. There's my last bus pass. I'm moving here. It's over to you, Guido. Okay. So, I have to do the same thing. My last bus pass. Over to you, Brigman. All right. Underground. Over to you, third. Two. You're oh. here. <laughs> it's the only valid move. Yep. It's literally the only valid move. Now, what? Now, he has bus passes, so I, for example, cannot move to 169, because then he could just go over me. Yeah. Mm. Can he? Uh, that's actually a good question. I'm assuming he can go through. To the rules. He All right, can go rules. to. I think if I land on somebody, let's see. I've always assumed Andraste was someone who was real, who was exaggerated way out of proportion. Let's see. The game finishes if a detective arrives at the location occupied at that time by Mr. X. So, in other words, you could probably go over me. I mean, that makes a degree of sense. You're taking a bus, I, unless I see you on the bus going by, right? The Ashes of Andraste could have also been just infused with Lyrium, Sonic. They actually mentioned that if you bring Ogrim there. And yeah, the Elven Gods were just Elven Mages who were insanely, ludicrously, corruptly evil. Like, wow. Wow levels of callous evil that is basically at Warhammer 40k levels. The thing that really miffed me... Mm. Remember the the dwarven um, blacksmith that you get under the the Inquisitor's castle? Mm -hmm. And how she touches that, that whatever the heck that we get from Corypheus. And she literally feels herself one with the lyrium veins of the earth which is basically dull because um, dwarves are literally ground made flesh yeah. basically to be, so they never took that anywhere no, they didn't. and that, that just like I mean it's real, trippy real quick if you get to turn 24 you win right um let me see the win conditions are this 
Um, the game is over if detectives are no longer able to move. It's oh. reached at the latest at the 22nd, but can be reached earlier. That's what? say. Okay. I don't know how you could reach that earlier, but whatever. Yeah, Lyrium is Titan Blood, that's correct. So here's my problem. Uh, so check this out. Let's assume for a moment, because we all have to move. We have to move. So no matter where I move, I'm opening up paths for him, right? Because <coughs> we're assuming he can go over. So let's let's assume for a moment I go here, right? And then it'll be Guido's turn, and then he kills him. Actually, that's a good point. We're going to win this round, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I actually forgot. I was about to say we were going to lose because the thing was, Bregwin has to move. Mm -hmm. Which means he could bus over here. Yeah. And be scot free. But whatever. So I'm going to go ahead here. I have a taxi. But if he does move there, there I have one bus pass left. Yes, but you have to move before off the bus thing before that. Anyways, it's on to you, Guido. Kill him! Yeah. So I will take a taxi. Is this your spot, third? It may be. But it's secretly not. Oh, man. What's up? The headphones are shorting out again. Yeah. Was that you? Yes. Holy crap, we did it. I honestly didn't think we were going to, because he had so many ways to escape from that. <laughs> I mean, he could have been like, boop, and then two taxis, and then gone. Yeah. <laughs> and that would have been the end of that. Okay, so that's Scotland Yard, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. Um, what was the other one? Spirit Island? Yes, that's the one. I was hoping to try out with you guys. I gotta say, I would not want to be Mr. X in that game. I would not enjoy that. Oh yeah, Spectre Ops was the other one I was showcasing. But yeah, let's let's try Spirit Island. Mm. I want to try Spirit Island. We all know what Sandal is secretly. I had a theory that Sandal was the maker that <laughs> came back but couldn't quite function because the limited capacity of the Dwarven mind. Mm -hmm. you no, know, be funnier is if he was the maker, but then the fade happened, or the veil, more accurately. Yeah. Now and that's just... literally what took away his faculties. So he's just like, hey. You can't kill me. <laughs> and mean that would also be why Lyrium is a thing. It would be literally the fade leaking through the veil and But no, it's Titan Blood, which makes no sense. That's what Azurite is too. That also makes no sense. Yes. Because we know what Titan Blood is. It still irritates the crap out of me. Your arcane magic. Third? Third? Yes. Is, is, can you hear me? I can hear you. But, but the map hasn't been loaded. I suppose I could try to load it. Can I load it? Probably. That would cancel. Cancel. Let's find out. Oops. It's the wrong thing. It didn't work. Does, are you sure you want to load Steam? The whole thing? Yes! I want the entirety of Steam loaded into my tabletop right now. Do you know what would amuse me, Tara? Is if Solus was the maker because of what he did. That would amuse the living crap out of me. Because now the maker's an elf. And, yeah. And Sandal is sort of like that split off part of himself that he doesn't want any more a la like God Emperor from Warhammer 40k, only it's just weirder. You know? Yeah. Okay. Alright, wait for it to do. Uh, is it loaded for everyone? Everyone? Yes. Okay, so four player. Mm -hmm. uh, adversary Brendenburg Prussia. Uh, let's go ahead and hit setup. Now everyone needs to pick a faction. I have no idea what any of them are. Make sure you hit, you click choose spirit when you pick one. 
I think you need to make sure you're also one of the accepted colors. Because it looks like green and white aren't a thing. Okay. Uh, what uh, do I want to play? Earth, water, fire, earth, earth. What are you guys? So you're death. You're yeah. lightning. You're earth. So we don't have any water. Is there a frost? No. So we've got the ocean or the river. I kind of like the idea of being in the ocean. Let's be the ocean. All right, I have no idea how to play this. <laughs> so, uh, if I'm remembering, they had the rules somewhere in here that we can just kind of check out. Oh, here we go. What do we got? Nope, that's the change log. Wow, that's weird. So we've got blight. I swear we had a rules thing. Turn like in the game. Somewhere. Uh, yep. Ah, here it is. Right here, right here. Okay, so. Woo! So, we are the spirits of the island, and the British, I mean the Portuguese, are showing up. And, um, cooperative game, blah blah blah, how to read, blah blah blah, super... Make sure you get low complexity spirits. Sure. Uh, uh, I just picked the coolest one. Okay. Yeah, I, I went with water. So, this is probably going to be set up, which we've already covered. Player setup. To finalize setup, the invaders take the invaders take an initial action. Reveal the top card of the invader deck. The invaders explore in that land type and then place that card face up in the build action phase. Okay, so where's the deck? Oh doom. Uh, minor power, major power, fear, healthy scenario, tiles. Is this the invader deck? That's scenarios. Uh, beasts, wild, strife, disease. Where the hell is the invader deck? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I am too, and I'm failing miserably. Magic class, screw it. Thematic map. Counters. Thematic map. Island health. Events? No. Oh, you have to make the invader deck. It's like um, uh, Elder Chore where you actually make it. Okay. Uh, the invader deck is 12 cards. Oh, it's these three, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, um, three right. stage one cards on top, then four stage two, then five stage this three on the bottom. Literally can't be right. There's only three actual cards here. Did it already do that somewhere? I just missed it. I think that'd be part of I think of these it. are stage cards right here. Yeah. Are they? Like? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Um, Found it. Found it. It. it did make it. it. It did make the deck. It's right here. Oh. Okay. So, this goes into build. J green. I don't know what that J means, but it means green. So, how does this work? We need to check explorer. Page 10. It is... Uh, hang on. Let's skip up to ten, because... We don't have a... Wait. Turn the top card over. Invaders explore in accessible lands of the shown type only, venturing forth from towns and cities or approaching from the Earth. If the if the card has a flag icon and you're play, prefer, 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 playing with an adversary, first perform Escalation. If there's no card to turn up, time has run out and you lose. Add an explore to every land of shown type, which either contains a town or city or is adjacent to a town, city, or ocean. So every grass that is next to or contains a town, city, or ocean has an explorer now. Okay. Uh, are, where's the explorers? There you go. So, explorer here, explorer here, uh, explorer here, explorer here, explorer. I think that's almost all of them. It's everything except the two. Well, no, there's a town there. So yeah, that's there. There is explorers all freaking over the place now. <laughs> These guys need to die, yo. Okay, back a bit now that we've done the initial setup. Uh, 
Okay. We need to kill these Portuguese guys. Or Prussians, apparently. So, each turn has Spirit Phase, Fast Power Phase, Invader Phase, Slow Power Phase, and then Time Passes. Um, each Spirit does three things in following order. Grow, gain energy, or play cards. So, Grow. You can choose an option next to Growth in the upper right of your panel. Let's look at what we got here for that. Growth. So I could reclaim cards, or gain a power card. You could reclaim cards, or gain power card, or gain energy. Blah, 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 blah. So we pick a thing, we pick a growth action. Then we gain energy equal to the highest uncovered number on your energy presence track. You place any gained energy on your spirit panel, and then you pay and play power cards. Um... You can select the power cards, fast and slow, that you'll use this turn. The maximum number of cards you can play each turn is the highest uncovered number on the card play's presence track, even if you have the energy to pay for more. You must pay immediately energy for all power cards play, even slow ones. Likewise, you all immediately gain all elements from all played power cards, even if the power's effect are slow. Do not resolve yet. So let's just do this. So everyone pick a grow. Okay. Um... Let's see here. What's that swirly thing right there? Is that a... It's presence. I don't know what that means, but that's what it is. Presence. I mean, Corypheus did, Terra. I, I still think to this day that Corypheus should have been the architect. It would have made a lot more sense. Just have him be in Dragon Age 2, and then bam. Okay, I, I gotta know what presence is. Because my my growths all severely affect presence. Uh, what is presence? Excuse me? Uh. Spirit presence marks the land a spirit occupies. Lands with your presence are sometimes referred to as your lands. If your presence is ever destroyed by being blighted by invaders, your presence is removed and put next to the island. If any spirit ever has no presence left, the players immediately lose. Ouch. A land can hold any number of presence from any number of spirits. Game effects which do things to presence always affect presence on the island unless they say otherwise. A sacred site... Uh, which is the one with the, th the symbol under the presence swirly thing. Are any lands where the spirit has more than one presence? Some powers can only be used in places of focused influence. Uh, I could be wrong, but we, we have like no presence out at all right now. Uh, none of us do. Yeah, and it kind of feels like we should. Given that if we have no presence on the island, we lose the game. Yeah. Was it supposed to set this up? Maybe. Like, we have the Dahans, but I thought that was the people. Like, the local peoples. I think that is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I like how they've already blighted, too. Yeah. I also don't see a way to indicate presence. Unless it's supposed to be these icon things. Maybe? Uh... What? Alright, third, you're better with rules than me. I, I hand this off to you, because I'm, I'm failing. Alright, I'm, I'm looking at the online thing right now. Yeah. I feel like I'm just missing something. As I usually do, because I'm terrible. <laughs> My special ability is to drown people.
I, and all I can think of is Ashara. Good. Yeah. Deals. I like making deals. Yes, that's what you got in trouble. Please. This can't stop. I mean, I get the the desperation, but we're gonna kill the crap out of her. That's all I'm saying. Yes, as players follow setup instructions on the back of their spirit mat, this always includes putting presents on one or more lands on their starting board. Well, see, I have six presents on my board, but um, I think we all do. Uh, well, whoever the slumbering beneath the sand is has a lot of. Uh, you have a lot of presents, or possibly card plays. Like, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it crosses over. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the death thing has six. Lightning has seven. I don't know who's who. There. Third has seven. Break one has six. I should have known you'd be the death thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I have six, and you have... Huh? <laughs> well, it says you start off with five on the island. In the lower left there. Mm-hmm. But, like, mine doesn't have a you start with. It just says I may place it onto oceans. I actually cannot have presence on land. I, there's only four steps I can have presence on. It's the ocean areas. But, like, what? And thank you, Maverick. I rather like, um, Jack, uh, Jack, uh, Jake Kaufman, I think? That sounds right. Yep, that's him. He's good. He's awesome. Alright, I'm gonna have to see a, a video of this actually being done. Damn. I'm sorry, oh, guys. Spirit Island, how to set up and play. I did not think this was gonna be this bad. I apologize. Good. Like, I've seen people play a list. It didn't seem that bad when I was watching them. You can only place on ocean, or can you place on wetlands as well? Uh, I may place or move into oceans, but I not, may, may not place or move into inlands. Ocean boards are, uh, are co treated as coastal wetlands, so no, I can only place on wet oceans. Huh. Yeah, that's, that's a little more limiting than I thought it was when I first picked this, but, you know. What's the river guys thing? Oh, I'm thinking about it. What? Oh my god, there's a setup. Well, there's a setup script. Look at the at the characters we haven't picked. Look at what's what's there. It says right there, setup. Put two on your starting board and the one number blah 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 blah. Oh. How, how do we get it back to that? Is there a... Yeah, I just realized the right side. Fan made spirits. Manual setup, not balanced. Oh. Oh, god damn it. All right, you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. <clears throat> uh, there we go. Let's etch a sketch this a little bit. Okay, so. Four Let's players. From the left side. Yeah. Renderbrook Crusher. Adversary level one. setup game. That'll set up the map and stuff, and the adversary bard. Apparently also sets up the fear deck. Oh, now that I'm watching. Yes. Yeah, exactly! Okay, so... I will be river this time. I get to put one on my starting board in the highest numbered wetlands. I'm just gonna remember that in case it doesn't do it for me. Did it do it for me? I don't think it did. Crap, I didn't even... Yeah, it didn't do okay. it for me. Earth or Shadow? Um, I'm thinking Shadow. Okay. Okay, so... I was really hoping it would do that setup for me, but it didn't. So, I guess... Are, are the... The Dragon's Tears supposed to be the presence? 
problem is I don't know which one of these are supposed to be our, my, star, my starting board. Because you're supposed to do it on your starting board, but if they're already put together, they're like... Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Yeah, you're supposed to set up your starting board and then combine them. Uh... What? Alright. You know what? Let's just, just pick one. <laughs> just pick a piece. Alright. Uh, place two on your starting board in the highest number of sands. So, I'll do this one. Sure. That's sands, right? What is it? How do you flip it over? Uh, unlock it. By pressing L, and then flip it. Okay, whatever. Um, of course it has to be. Put one thing I don't have on on no. my starting board in the highest number of wetlands. What's the starting board? It's so apparently at the start, you see how this thing is in four pieces? Oh, we each pick one. You each pick one and then you set up your stuff and then you combine them together. All right, so. But since it's already done that, just pick one. So third, I guess, pick the lower right one. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, what, I you? will pick uh, upper left, I guess. Okay. So I put one. This thing right here. Oh, okay. So I'll put my energy in wetlands. I don't know what wet. I'm guessing this is wetlands. Uh, let's put wetlands there. Because I don't know what that does yet. Where is wetland? I'm thinking it's the slate looking thing. It looks like mountain or something like that. I was assuming Mountain was the really dark gray. This is Assumption, of course. Yeah. Okay, well, alright, so we've put out our initial presence. Uh, no, I... Um, I don't even know what... Okay, which one is Wetland? <laughs> Because I need a wetland and I need a jungle, so... Again, I think this is wetland and this is jungle. Okay, so the highest number of wetland... Pretty sure. Is that here? Okay. Oh, that's a good point. Mine was the highest, highest number, number, wasn't it? And yeah, highest number of wetlands. Sorry, so that would actually be... Oh, I already did it right. Woo! I did it right by accident! Yay! It's the best kind of doing it, right? Um, highest number of jungle... It's real life for you. Here's the thing. Yeah, um, the aqua colored one is wetland. Okay, we were right. Okay, then where? Uh, where's what? This. So yours is where? Jungle with no people. Which thing are you, Brecken? I am. Oh. Ah. Sorry. This one. Sorry. Got it. Yeah. So put two. One in the highest number of wetland. One in any jungle without a house or dude. Okay. Yeah, so. Uh, Brigland, what color are you doing? You're blue. I'm... So you need to actually be over here. Where? Over here, I moved you over here, because this is thirds. And this is yours. You gotta keep to your part of the island. You think of yourself as a Loa. Oh. And this oh. is your territory. And third, you just don't like him. Oh. Yeah. He's awful. Okay. Now I gotta figure out how to... Now, Guido's... Do this again, Guido. Which one of these is Guido? I guess purple is Guido. Yeah. Uh, is that purple or is that blue? Okay, he's. I think it's purple. The problem is I don't have any starting setup. Hang on. Oh. Okay, so put three in two in the highest number jungle and one in five. So oh, that would be. Uh, look, is that an eight? Yeah, it looks like an eight. So two in the eight spot. And then one in the five spot. You're gonna be a flood about this, aren't you? Oh, oh here we go. Damn it. Third, are you reading by chance? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I just. Uh, I will be right back. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I guess I'm top right. Uh, 
Um, yes. Two in the highest number jungle in one area. Percy. Percy. Okay. Do we place all our presents? We good? Yes. All right. All right. right. Next step. Oh. Invaders act first. Reveal the top card of the invader deck. Okay. So, yep. So that is five desert. And that's going to be... So everything desert that's adjacent to the ocean or a city, if I'm remembering correctly, gets an explorer. Basically all of them. All but one. There we go. Many explorers are out and about. I'll just skydive in. Many explorers handle it. So now what? Oh yeah, now we just use our growth thing. <laughs> Which is where we got stuck last time. Alrighty. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, spirit phase. So choose one option extra growth. Um and perform the items that are in in any order. So, make my monster grow. So. Hey, third, can you look at my thing real hmm? quick, please? Look at my board over here, real quick. Okay. So, for example, one of my growths is to add two presences, right? Mm -hmm. I have a feeling the way to do that is to do this. And thus my yes. my energy per turn goes up to two, and I use these two, and that's my finite amount of presence. Does that sound about right? Yes, and um, for doing yeah, that, that's that should be right. Okay. Like mine's a little bit different since I do it like at two blocks at once. Gotcha. Instead of one and one. So I am gonna do that though. That's my growth, okay. and I can add presence anywhere. I think. Uh, I don't think so. I think it has to be like adjacent to your current presence. So this right here, Please growth see. always plus swirly thing to arrow. <laughs> so, uh, whatever that means. I'm looking for the growth and presence thing. All right. Uh, the more of the presence you play, the more energy you gain, the more card plays you play, blah, blah. Moving presence. Add one pre. Okay, yeah, let's add one presence to the board at range two, up two lands away. Okay, up two lands away. It says. Okay. Two lands away as long as it's a jungle or wetland. I don't know if that matters. Look in your lower left. That'll tell you rules about Is that. Yeah. Mine says for every purple things you have, you may use one turtle swirl as if it were a bird. What? That's what it says. Hmm. Adding presents to the board by okay. growth, you may optionally use your So I'll do presents. one there. And. Chosen my growth. What? I'm not doing this. Two presents, two lands away, but does it have to be jungle or wetland? It does not say. If it doesn't say, then no, is the answer. It could be wherever. 
Because I've actually seen ones that have limits, and they specifically say you can only put presents on such and such. So one, two, and then... So, next phase. Two? And two. Here we go. Gain energy yeah. equal to highest number of... Which of these is supposed to be energy, I wonder? Um, I think it's the counter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. So I'm just going to... So the next... If you choose in your growth, you gain energy equal to however much your energy counter is, which is the uncovered thing under the presence. And then we get to play cards. Yay. So turtle is slow. Bird is fast. You... You pay the energy cost immediately for casting now, regardless... And you gain elementals from them, regardless. But their effects do not happen yet. I'm guessing the elementals is this stuff in front of us. Because that's the exact same symbols that's on the cards. I like how chat has gone super quiet as we're trying to figure this out. <laughs> so are we all playing at the same time then? More or less. Or are we actually taking turns? It's, so there is a turn thing, but it's like we all do the growth. We all do the energy. We all do... Right? I think so, yeah. So I'm just thinking out, because like the f whole first turn is growth, energy, play cards. So I've already growthed, I've already energy, and I'm thinking about cards, and I'm trying to figure out what the elements mean exactly, which I'm going to peruse here. We're trying, Spartan, I swear. As far as I don't know what all of these um, icons are. Yeah, exactly. I'm almost positive the icons on the cards are the elemental things, but I'm trying to find yeah. more specific got example. Sunlight, moon, fire, uh, something, water, mountain, leaf, primal? Ah. Okay, here we go. Powers. So... Elements gained. So yeah, those those icons on the left of the card are the elements you gain. Okay. I don't know what those do exactly, but that happens as soon as you have it. The energy cost is in the upper left. The speed is, I already told you that, it's bird or turtle. Range is how far from your presence it can reach. That's the, uh, so in like the very center of the card, there's an arrow with a number. That's how, mm -hmm. that's your reach from presence. Uh, target is what type of lands it can hit. Like, well, all of mine say any, for example. Mm -hmm. um, effects is duh. That's the, the text at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and play Flash Floods with my two energy. Boop, boop. And I'm going to get a sun and a thing. I don't know what the hell these are, but I'm just getting them. Whatever. Oh, look, it keeps track. That's kind of neat. Okay, sorry. <sighs> and I don't actually have the energy to play anything else. Oh, no, I do. I'm going to go ahead and play River's Bounty. I think you just have one card play, though, right? Okay. Uh, no, you could play... I swore it said two. One fast and slow. Give me a second. Oh, okay. Give me a second. I shall verify... Select the power cards that you will use. The maximum number of cards you can play is the highest uncovered number on the card play's presence track. Which in my case would be one, actually. So, I actually can only play one. Now this is really cool. I don't know if you guys notice this, but like... Here, hang on. I'm gonna just play with... Which, what are you? You're there. There you are, third. I'm just gonna pretend you cast this. Yeah, you see how it actually ups the counter automatically for you? Hmm, okay, yes. That's kinda cool. Scripted. Yeah, I don't know what push means, though. That's the problem. Push? I don't know. You see, push, push, push up to. I guess it means move. All right, here we go. Speed target. Spirit as one. Okay, it means you push it out of a target land to adjacent lands. Hmm. Okay. 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 So the actual effect doesn't go off yet. That'd be interesting, Spartan. Yeah, the effects don't happen yet. We're not there yet. Okay. Just just resolve the energy, resolve the cards, resolve the elementals, and then we'll move on once we've all cast, basically. Alright, so I can push two Dahans. 
Um, and I get defense if you push any into a land with the town or city. Cool. Um, so. Oh, hang on, please. hang on, hang on. Are we up? What's the next thing? Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay, right, so, so. Basically, I'm pushing them both into here. For reference, we could decide the order in which effects resolve in case it matters. Okay. So we can combo off each other later. Um, so yeah, we resolve the fast effect right now. That's the next thing we do. Okay. So if you cast any fast cards, I did, for example. That happens. Oh, I just... This is a fast card. No. Let's make it sure. Okay. Okay, yep. So what happens for me is... We have one. to stay in our little zones, right? I don't know what you mean by that. Yeah, in our little quadrant. No, no, just go up. No? Oh, this. cool. Okay. Um, so I do two damage. I need to know how much damage a town can take. Um, hang on, I think I'm destroying a town right now. I think I am too. I, I'm doing two damage to this town. Yeah, I destroy the town. Or I'm doing two damage to the city. I could do either. Uh, now, I think since I destroyed a town, the fear gets raised, right? I believe so, yeah. I'm, I swear that's a thing. Okay, so one moon and two plants. Well, that's innate powers. Most fear effects do not cause speed. more fear. They remove invaders rather than damage. I'm just trying to do that. Ah, yes. When you destroy a city or a town, it frightens the invaders. Two fear for a city, one fear for a town. All right, so um, that's plus one fear. Uh, where do I increase this? So how do I get two moons and two plants out when I only have one of each? How did you gain them? In what? Through the, go through the card, and then I pulled one from right, one from here, and then one from here, and all of a sudden I've got two. Not sure how that works, but let me see something. Maybe. Yeah, now it's one. Now that's one. Okay. Okay. Yep. Oh, the card automatically okay. does this. So. Okay. This town is destroyed. Uh, where's the fear counter? I think what happens is we actually just gain fear cards, don't we? Uh, I'm not sure, but fear has gone up by another one whenever... Alright, hold on. Uh... Okay. I am thoroughly confused. Well, hang on, I want to figure out this fear thing before... Anything else? <laughs> You don't have to worry about getting any of these tokens out yourself. It automatically does it when you play the card. That is pretty so nice. You get two right here, and then you can do whatever the heck it says in your innate powers. It's not, it's not going to tell me. All right, whatever. Third, you look up fear. All right, Guido, which are you? You're purple. Okay. So did you cast any cards on your turn? Let's start with that. So I don't have any energy to spend. Um... You should have had two energy. You should have gained... Oh, wait. Yes, you should have gained two energy. Uh, one energy, excuse me. One energy. So, okay, so you have one energy. Um, so it's right here. The fact that that presence is gone means you, you automatically, passively gained one energy at the beginning of the round. Okay. So that pushes you up to one, which you can use to cast stuff. Now, looking at your cards, like, you could cast basically anything in your hand. Right. Um, so... Um, all of the ones that are blue circled in the upper left, those are the slow things, and all the ones that are red are fast. Fast happens now, slow happens after the enemy has their turn. Um, the stuff on the left is your elements. You gain those, eventually those will matter. I, I already looked this up just a minute ago. Elements is a rating, not a currency. Make sense? It's okay. unlock stuff, basically. And um, you may have to unlock your counter and stick it on your card for it to show up in your energy cost. That, that may be a thing, but we, we could figure that out. Um, so looking at your stuff, uh, looking at what you got here. Take no damage from ravaging. Push explorers. Replace a town with an explorer. Oh, that's nice. 
That's mean. Uh, you're purple, right? Ah, uh, you can't actually do that this round, though. Damn. So, the range is the first most important thing. A lot of your cards have range zero, which means they have to happen on a square you... Or, excuse me, a tile you have presence on. One of your purple icons. So... If... What else have we got here? What are your range ones? So it looks like you can gather Dahans or two... I don't know what that symbol is. Hey, third, real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, look at his dark and tangled wood cards here. It's this one right here that's kind of hovering. Hover, hover, hover. What is that icon? Two blue. That's defense. Uh, okay. You can use that in some way to decrease damage. Okay. You look, you look like you're playing defensive in general, because I notice a lot of that. Yeah. Like, all your things do defense. You could also not cast anything. Because a lot of that looks like defense, and they will continuously get stronger. I mean, that's the whole point. They're, they're the Prussians. <laughs> See you around, Tara. Well, what I could do is buff one of you who is attacking someone else. That's true. Um, hmm... Well, I don't. I don't need the help personally. I don't know what those two are doing. Uh, I mean, I've already. My stuff is basically just. I destroy stuff, um, and let, and I'm not doing any damage. I'm just destroying stuff. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I'm just growing, and I need a couple more things before I can start destroying anything. Hmm. So here's a thought. Favors called Dew um, spawns for the dudes, right? And you could spawn those within one of any of your things. So you could like spawn them on the town they've got there, for example. And then if the invaders are present and they outnumber them, which would be true, they would gain three defense for that action for whenever that combat resolves. So that that's my thinking. Right here. Mm. Hang on, my Uh, yeah. I'm not sure how combat works. <laughs> I'm just speculating. You could also, again, just play nothing. And get your energy ready for later. Hmm. Apparently we have a limited number of Dahans. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. That makes sense. I don't think I do anything with Dahans. I'm the river. <laughs> I make presents and I break things. You know, I bet it's the Dahan that are in my play area, not create new ones. Well, it did say gather. That's true. I imagine what that does. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So you could, like, grab four of them and put them onto that square if you want to do, for example. Right. That would make sense. So, I could put them... Oh, that's cool. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking then. I play that card and place them here. Okay. So we get four on the city. Right. The city does three damage, can take three damage. Mm, yeah, I getcha, I getcha. So, they would take no damage, but near as I can tell, do four. Yeah. I, I agree. I like it. So do it to it. And if you... Let's see if your script is working. Yep, there it goes. So now you can see which uh, elements you have unlocked for the future. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Breakwind, did you resolve your card? Okay, mine is just um, target spirit adds plus one 
So who did you target? Presence. I can see target you targeted. Spirit. Target. So who did you target? Who, Bregman? Who? I thought maybe I don't. Well, I thought I knew, but apparently not. Um. I mean, you can target yourself. No. If you want to. So who? I have one, two. So you three, can add one pre So anybody could add a presence four, one away from theirs. Three. One, one. It looks like you or Guido could use it. Well, actually, I take that back. Hang on. I have three out. Uh, third has four. You have four, and Guido has four. I so, guess. I guess technically, I have the least. If yeah. You, if you want to give it to me. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, in so. that case, I will put out a presence. Uh, it's one from my current, right? Yep, I see it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will go ahead and... We can double up presence on a single tile, right? I'll see why I want. I don't either. But... A third! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think we could double up presence on a single tile? Or triple up? Or triple uh, up? Maybe? Yeah. You're talking about from different spirits, right? Yeah. Because I have a benefit where any wetlands that has my presence counts as a strong presence for me. And so I was kind of thinking of just spreading out to all the wetlands and having all the rivers. Um, but I don't want to do that if I'm going to interrupt you guys. Here we go. Presence. Checking. Uh, it doesn't even say in the presence section. Yeah, I'm looking right now. I mean, I guess you can. Yeah, I, I don't see anything indicating I can't. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to double up down there with, I think it's Bregwood. Yeah. Yep. So, so it has the presence. Huh. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're up to invaders now. Yes. The river surges so. in sunlight with a spread of rampant green. We are the overgrowth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it says, if any fear cards have been earned... Then we well, do those now. I was going to say, I destroyed a town and you destroyed a town, so I think we have two fear cards, right? Well, I don't know, because like I advanced a fear tracker, too. Okay. Um, but it looks like we only get a fear card when we advance all of the fear markers. Okay. That works for me. Them. I don't really want there to be fear anyways. Okay, so fear doesn't happen. Blighted doesn't happen, because we're not there yet. All right. Um, Ravage. Right. There's a card over to Ravage, which there's not until turn two. That happens, so... Hmm. So Ravage doesn't happen. So and that means build. build. The invaders build in lands of the shown terrains only. Which would be the sand, I believe. Yep, when they're invaders in that type of terrain, they add one building. <sighs> Land has more towns than cities, they add a city, and in all other cases, add a town. So it just adds a town to all... Um... Yeah, as I say, I think that's just... Uh, the ones they're in, though, only, right? So, for example, this one... Um... This one... Yes. This one... Or, no. This one. This one... Basically all of them, really. Okay. It doesn't upgrade, though, right? Uh, unless there's a town there already, no. Uh, there is a town already, like up here, for example. All right. If the land has more towns than cities, they add a city. So, yes, they add a city. Well, that sucks. That's the only one, though. So, Woo. okay. So they have built because the Prussians. I mean, all right. Ex explode. Turn the top card of the deck face up. We had like four turns left. Hourglass. Uh, we did win, though. Yeah, third gave us a uh, quite a ride. Okay, so explore up. Mm -hmm. So, wetlands. 
What happens now? Um, invaders explore into accessible lands of the terrain shown. Ah, right. Explore to every land which matches a terrain and has an adjacent to a source of invaders. Buildings or oceans. So wetlands. Wetlands. Many wetlands. Many explorers. This is awful. There are so many explorers out. We need to kill all of them, guys. In fact, I think they hit literally every wetlands. Yep. Yikes. Oh, yep, nope, they do hit that one too. Okay. So they have explored, because they're bastards. Right. And then we slide. Um, after Correct, explore, right. slide all the invader cards left. This turn's explore card becomes the next build, and this next turn's build moves to Ravage. So we're going to have a so, Ravage next turn. I guess so the sand there. should be Ravage, right? Yes. And then wetlands should be build. Put the top card of the invader deck face down to explore a side. So, next turn. did anyone cast any slow spells? Oh, Guido did. And so did third? Oh, yes. So now the slow effects happen. So, go and do your gather thing, Guido. So I already did. Okay. They have been placed. I'm assuming that then destroys the city? I'm not sure when that happens or how that happens. I'm really not. Hang on. Um, let's see. So, uh, no. Oh, okay, back, back. Oh, uh, by the way, my, mine already resolved because mine, mine are technically fast powers because of my thing. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, each to Han. Um. This sounds like combat only happens on Ravage actions. Yes. But if I'm understanding correctly, they'll only ravage sand. Oh, but no, that's not on sand. In the ravage card. The invaders ravage each land of the shown type. And first invaders deal damage to the land and Dahan. Then any surviving Dahan fight back. So, knowing that now, Guido, may I recommend we retcon things a little bit. So they're going to ravage desert next time. Um, so, for example, if you put your guys into this panel instead, okay. there would be four of them with three defense, and they'd be fighting three of them, which I think means they would wipe them out total. There's two on the town, and then one on the guy. By contrast, if you did it up here, there'd be three with the city, and then one him, so I, I don't know if that would equal out or what but those appear to be the, the options. Let me triple check the rules here. So blah, 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 they, uh, they do damage, oh. blight adds. So each, every two points of damage, destroy one Dahan. You must destroy Dahan as efficiently as possible. You cannot disperse damage. Um, if a Dahan has dealt one damage, turn it over to show that it's damaged, blah, blah, blah. After invaders have been damaged, any surviving Dahan fight back. Each Dahan deals two damage to the invaders. Oh, I didn't know that. Each Dahan will fight back, even if the Ravage Invaders deal no damage. So if we need to move our presence, yeah, how many can we move? And 20 minutes? Because I think I saw something like that in your page. Um, give me a sec, Bregwin. Right. So based on that, Guido, sorry, with the two damage thing, I take it back. I think you should go for the city. Because I think those four could kill the city. With the defense. That's just that's just my thinking, but uh, one of the two. My defense only lasts for the same turn it's played. Uh, that makes no sense. Because it says. if a slow effect casts a defense, a ravage will always a slow effect will always happen after a ravage. There go. It'll only last another turn. It happens and then it'll go away and never have it done anything. I mean, that's that's what it says. That's why that doesn't make sense. By the by the very definition of the rules, that's an invalid card. Basically, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if they're wanting you to power it up to fast. Possibly. Hmm. Let me see. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I just completely forgot we have innate powers depending on our elemental unlocks. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, I couldn't play mine. And next turn, I can help. I can yeah, do one, yeah. Yeah, it says, unless a power explicitly says otherwise, it only affects the current turn. That just makes so little sense. I think we need to watch that video of this game being played. No kidding! Jesus! I honestly did not think this was going to be like this, guys. I apologize. Oh, no. I'm really looking forward to this, too. It's it's a fascinating game that we don't know how to play. Yeah. <sighs> well, I'm okay with bailing. I mean, it's 11. I, I kind of <laughs> think we should, yeah. Yeah, we, we need to research this one a bit, I guess. I'm about ready to crash. Yeah, I am too. There's only one thing left to do. Flip the table. Flip the table. No, no, I've got it. I've got it. Here we go. All right. Oh, here. Oh, oh chess. There. 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 Here. And here. The only thing I can do with chess is drool at it. That's it. Mm, I have drool no mind for it. Drool. Yeah, I have no mind for it. I don't know. <laughs> there it does go. not work in my head. I I'm middling at chess. I'm average. I have won chess tournaments, but I'm not particularly proud of that. I'm a little better at speed chess. You mean I, checkers? I can do checkers. Uh, this is checkers technically. It, <laughs> it's cheaters checkers, but it's still checkers. It's got weird ways in which things can move that don't gel here. Here, there's something that's labeled checkers. Oh god. That's it's Chinese oh. checkers. <laughs> I think they actually do have a checkers though. Where was I? I was just looking at oh, it. Yeah. I'm... There you go. Okay. It's terrible. No, they stack. Wow. Yeah, because... Ah! You know, so. <laughs> there we go. Crunch. In case you queen like 30 times. Conk. Alright, anyways, I'm going to chop off the recording. Okay.